Hello YouTube, this is Silver Age Dave from the garden. Uh, this morning I woke up and uh, lo and behold, what did I have in my pool? I had this bat who's really rough looking. He was hanging onto the side of a pool ladder. So I scooped him out, I had him in some netting and uh, I kept him for a while. Ooh, look at them teeth on him. I kept him for a while and I uh, wanted to make sure he was going to make it. He seems okay. It's been a couple hours and hopefully tonight he'll be out and about flying around. But uh, that's, I've had bats rarely, you know, at night they fly over the water and they get insects and they'll take drinks. They'll fly down and if you're in the pool at night, they'll blast that water so fast all around you. And uh, it's pretty cool, but I've never, uh, I've never had a live one like this. I'll try to get in closer to him so you can see what's happening here. That's our bat we just caught. So cute! He was swimming. Cutest I've ever seen. Well, he, they can't swim real well. <laughs> There's the mole. There was a mole in the pool too this morning. He's pushing a tomato around. He Aww. knows where we're at from our sound. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move him. This close to a bat. Boy, he's really moving around now. He seems to like the netting. It's easy to grip. We'll hang him here on the American flag. I don't want to put him on the ground. dry off all day. Let him dry off. That's really cool. That might be my YouTube video of the day. Let's see. He's been alive for a couple hours. Sometimes you get things out of the pool and their lungs are too far gone. But he was hanging up, breathing air. I think he's just a little, a little discombobulated right now. So I'll leave him there a while. He might dry off. Hopefully tonight he's flying around eating bugs and won't get so close to the water. That's as close up as I've ever been to a live bat. Not much in the way of eyes. I don't know if you can see those right there. Kind of centered. But uh, I'll bet he can hear me real well. Whoa. That is cool. Before you get all manners of things, bunnies and skunks, and uh, we've had a raccoon, we've had lots of birds, and usually you scoop that stuff out and it's dead. But um, I've had, uh, I had a skunk a few years ago that was swimming in there and he was alive, a little one, uh, big enough to have his stink sack, but um, we were able to save him. I, I took a long board, a 2 by 12 and I laid it in the water, half in, half out, and he climbed right up that. I wasn't going to try to scoop him out. I figured that'd be a lot of trouble. So, uh, anyway, all the fun when you have a pool, you get uh, a little bit closer view of nature sometimes. Yeah, he's getting his, he's getting his energy. You can see his eyes. If you follow the front of his ear, down to his, down to the skull. You can see the eye, I can see it, just barely. Very small, you know, they really aren't using those. But uh, that's a cool little guy right there. I'm happy to help him out. Hopefully he remembers me in the future and he eats all our mosquitoes. All 
all the bugs we don't want around the pool. Hopefully he's really hungry and he gets them for us. Anyway, uh, YouTube, that's it. Silver Age Dave, Saturday morning. It's like Lauren Green in the Mutual of Omaha up in here, huh? Pretty exciting. I'm going to turn the camera off now. Maybe I'll do a comic video later. Silver Age Dave, the bat saver, is out.